Hey, good day, guys. Um, welcome, Year 9. This is um, another one of your history lessons. Now, the important thing about this lesson is that it is the start of the final unit. So we have pretty much got about two, three or four lessons left, let's say, and we would have completed the USA topic. If you've been keeping up with all the other stuff, really well done, because when we eventually go back to school, obviously we'll be starting new topics, um, new exam courses, and then we will only ever come back to revise this one. So it's a good idea. It's great if you're keeping up with it as you go along. Now, this last section and those of you that um, are keeping tabs on your checklist in your books as well, will know that it's called social change on the dates of 1950 to 2000. OK, there are a couple of aspects to this. The first one is popular culture, which we're going to do today. This, there's um, one about um, youth culture, another one about student protest and the other section about women. So that's four lessons altogether on social change. Now, um, there were lots of fundamental changes in US society in the second half of the 20th century. The cinema had become quite important. Um, but it was things like television and music and later on the internet which would have the biggest impact um, on society and it, that was especially on young people in society okay now this lesson today is about popular culture um and so popular culture you'll find out in a short space of time was was kind of mainstream um ideas mainstream interests that a lot of people generally like so if we were talking about the 21st century popular culture would be for example netflix or it would be TikTok or instagram um and you know it's certain types of films like potentially popular culture people are into the marvel films that would be what popular culture is in the 20 in the 21st century and music wise um it would be kind of you know the key bands that lots of people like adele for example might be um uh, that's an example of popular culture. A lot of people, you know, like like the music. So this section, um, your title is social change in the USA between 1950 and 2000, and then a little subheading of popular culture. OK. So what I would like you to do, please, in your books, if you could um, jot down or copy down here the definitions. There's two lots here. There's the phrase popular culture which means mainstream ideas and interests such as music, TV, cinema, technology and books slash literature. And it's what most people are into in society. And then the opposite of that is counter culture, OK, which is a way of life or a set of ideas and interests that are different to those accepted by most people in society. So people who don't go for the mainstream culture kind of this is this is called counterculture examples from the 1950s and 1960s were the beat generation and the hippies of the 1960s okay so pause the video then while um you jot those definitions down OK, so attached to show my homework, you should have a colourful sheet that has got lots and lots of information on it about um, popular culture. There are five categories altogether that I want you to tell me about music, film and cinema, television, technology and literature. And each of those is colour coded on the sh on the information sheet that you've got. So I want you to to read that really carefully to begin with. Um, and I want you to create a mind map of each of the five sections. You can use different colours. You can use images. You can take a double page to do this to make it something that really stands out in your book and it's easy to look back on so that you do one on music for example and you'd be writing about the birth of rock and roll in the 1950s you'd be writing about mentioning elvis who erupted onto the pop scene okay and rock and roll was probably the key feature in music in the 1950s as it moved into the 60s your the sort of music that took over, especially for as far as young people was concerned, were concerned, was the music of the Beatles or even the Rolling Stones. Uh, and Bob Dylan in particular was a really popular artist because he kind of represented issues that were going on at the time, such as Vietnam. And his songs were about protest songs as well. 
And as you move sort of 1970 onwards, popular music changes again to include disco music, such as the Bee Gees, for example. Heavy metal music becomes popular. The likes of Bruce Springsteen become popular due to the fact, you know, he, he's kind of given the impression of like an ordinary person and the struggles of ordinary, of ordinary people. And as you go later on, you get your rap and your hip hop music. Um, and it generally kind of changes over time. Now, as a challenge to this, if you can sort of highlight, maybe using different colours or, or something like that, you know, the different decades. So where you're writing about something that was the case in the 1950s, like you're mentioning Elvis, for example, when you do the film and cinema bit, use the same colour for what was going on in film uh, and cinema in the 1950s, you know, so you can get that idea of change over time um, in order to sort of um, get a really good understanding of this. So pause this now, this should take you a good 20, 25 minutes. Pause the video. Um, I'm just gonna pop up on the next slide. This is the um, sheet. This is what you should look for on Show My Homework. Obviously, you can't see it properly in here, but if you look, the colour coding, the, the yellow is about cinema, the green is about music, the blue is about literature. You've just got to pick out key points, remember, for your mind map. Um, make a really good job of this. Make as creative as you possibly can. OK, so pause and work on that for the next 25 minutes or so. Then press play again. And the final thing I want you to do, guys, today is uh, there is another PowerPoint or there is a PowerPoint attached to show to show my homework, um, which is a quiz. All right. So put the PowerPoint on properly, view it as a presentation because there are some links on it, maybe of little sounds or little clips that it wants you to look at in order to answer the questions. And the very end of that um, PowerPoint are the answers so you can mark your work. Guys, this is a really interesting topic. There are probably things on here that your parents will recognise for certain, or you might even recognise. You know, popular culture is something that appeals to us all in some shape or form. OK, so remember to get back to me, um, message me in the comments section of Show My Homework what your score is on this, um, how much you get for the quiz, and then send me pictures of your wonderful mind maps and displays that you do based on the information sheet. OK, guys, well done. Um, look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. You know what I mean. Bye.